grade fours. Um, I know sometimes we get, when I'm sharing my screen, it glitches and you guys have a hard time seeing it. So I thought I would try doing the lesson this way today and see how it works. That way you can watch it on your own and hopefully we don't have the problems with connection. So today we are looking at patterns in a T chart. And a T chart is this chart here on the right where it's got two sections. And we call it a T chart because it kind of looks like a T if you look at the middle line and the top line. Okay. So let's read this problem together. It says you decide to work out five minutes the first day, six minutes the second day, eight minutes the third day, 11 minutes the fourth day, and so on. Step A says record and extend the pattern in the table. So we're going to go over to the table and you can see in the left hand column, column one, it has the day and it has days one to 11. In the second column, it says the time in minutes and that's how many minutes we're going to be working out. So we're going to fill in the chart by clicking in the text box and it tells us right here the first few numbers. It says you decide to work out five minutes the first day, six minutes the second day, eight minutes the third day, 11 minutes the fourth day, and so on. So there's the numbers we already know. We're almost halfway down the chart. Now, looking at this pattern, I need to figure out what the pattern is because it doesn't tell us how, what, how much it's growing by. It says five, then six, then eight, then 11, and so on. So we have to figure out what's happening. So when we were at five, to get to six, we were adding on one. Now, if it was always add one, we would have five, six, seven, eight. We don't have that. So we have to figure what we're adding each time. So to get from five to six, we added one. To get from six to eight, that's adding on two. From eight to 11, nine, 10, 11, we're adding three. Oh, so I'm starting to see the pattern now. We added one then we added two, then we added three. So next, how many are we going to add? Four, yeah. So we're going to add four. So our next number is going to be 15. Then we're going to add five. Very good. Then we're going to add six and get, yes, 26. Then we're going to add seven, and what will we get then? 33, yes. Then we're going to add eight, 41. <clears throat> then we're going to add nine, now we're at 50. Then we're going to add 10, so now we're at 60. All right, so this wasn't a simple pattern of adding the exact same number each time. The amount we were adding was also increasing. So it's like a pattern in a pattern. All right, so we've done part A. We always go through the parts, right? So part A, record and extend the pattern in the table. We did that, okay? T-charts are also called tables, as we know. Question B says, on which day will you work out for exactly one hour? Well, you, you need to know how many minutes are in an hour. How many minutes are in an hour? Yeah, 60, right. So we're looking, when do we work out 60 minutes? And we're on day 11. And funny enough, this chart goes right up exactly to the 60. That's not always going to happen, guys. So <laughs> don't always count on that. So the question is, on which day will you work out for exactly one hour? So I'm going to say day 11. All right, then it says to write the pattern rule. Now remember pattern rules have two parts. We always have to say what we start with, okay? This one's easy, they told us what to start with. On day one, we started at five, okay? And then we have to say how it's changing each time. 
Now we can't say add one each time because that didn't happen. We, didn't, we can't say add two each time, that didn't happen. So the way we're going to say that is we're going to say add one, then two, then three, and so on. And then I'm going to put in brackets, increase by one each time. Okay, when you say and so on, people can get the pattern. So uh, it, we're starting at five. Let me double check this makes sense. Start at five, add one, then two, then three, and so on. Increase by one each time. You know what? If I want to make sure the teacher knows exactly what I mean, I'm actually going to add in four. So now it says add one, then two, then three, then four, and so on. And I think anybody reading that would get the pattern that you're going to then add five, six, seven, eight, and so on, and so on, and so on to get to the end. All right. So that's how you do this kind of T-chart. Make sure you read the instructions carefully because it usually gives you the first few numbers and it gives you a really good hint on how to get started. Also, make sure you read the questions carefully because I've had this activity in the past and know what people do when it says on which day will you work out for exactly one hour? They print 60. It's 60 minutes. They're asking on which day and that's why I wrote day 11. So I know that that's correct and I do always like to go back and check my answers and make sure I'm answering the questions. So part C says write the pattern rule and I said start at and then what to do each time so I know it's a proper pattern rule.